All right, guys, today, man, Cave Tools, we are going to do a versus video between the brand new Hilti Neuron Impact Driver versus the older Milwaukee Fuel Impact Driver. This is going to be a good one, so please subscribe to the channel. So let's just take a look at the specs and get to it. All right, so the Milwaukee with an eight amp hour high output battery weighs four pounds and 10.1 ounces. And the Hilti Neuron with the eight amp hour battery weighs five pounds and 2.0 ounces. All right, so let's do tool only. Let's see what the, this weighs. Two pounds and 3.7 ounces. And the Hilti tool only weighs two pounds and 3.4 ounces. All right, so for the first test on this log, we are gonna do a six inch specs and eight inch timber lock. Then after that, we are gonna increase the difficulty of the test and switch out logs and then go on from there. The battery on the Milwaukee is full, eight amp hour battery. It is on speed three. Time. All right, so we'll do the Hilti next. Battery is full, speed three. With this big battery, both tools are awkward to hold, just so you guys know. They're both very back heavy. It's the size of the battery. Time. All right, let's take the Milwaukee's out. Is the Hilti quick insert collet? Yes, it is. It is a quick insert collet. Time. I am interested to see what these results are. I do love the ring light around the collet. That is seriously, it is awesome. It is an awesome feature. I still need to do a video of all these tools working at night to see what light actually illuminates the work surface area better. All right, so next let's do an eight inch timber lock. Hill Tease is next. Time. All right, let's take the Milwaukee's out. Perfect. All right, next let's take Hill Tease out. Excellent. All right, so let's uh, change out logs and increase the difficulty. I don't know, I'm just having issues with it getting out of the collet. My need pliers. Yeah, it's not, it's not releasing it. It's out more. There we go, I got it. All right, so let's, uh, battery is still full. Like I said, it's not gonna deplete you guys. Start wherever I want since it's a fresh slate. Let's do Hilti next. Battery is full. That, I like that feature. To see what the battery is, you just gotta tap on the trigger. I like that. You don't have to push any extra buttons or just a quick tap of the trigger. And also just so you guys know with this battery, if you hold the battery down, if you hold the eject button down, it's like it does a thought, it does a, a maintenance run on the battery to see if the battery is defective. I do not know how long it takes. I'm not sure. Let's see if I put it back in. Yeah, I'm not sure how long that takes, so. All right, so let's put drive in the Hilti's four inch. Time. Yeah, this, this is having issues with the collet. All right, so let's take Milwaukee's out. Wow. 
Wasn't expecting that. Let's take Hilties out. Time. Amp it up to a six inch lag. Time. Let's do a uh, Hilti six inch lag. Time. It did it. I'm not sure what's happening. This collar is not. Doesn't want to release the bit. There we go. I'm yeah. I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if there's issues with uh, Hilti's collet, but I can say that this Milwaukee collet does have issues as well. This mo this is the older uh, quarter inch uh, anvil to where it has one ball bearing to support the bit. So this uh, the Milwaukee collet does have an issue with dropping bits, and it drives people crazy. So yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it might. Uh, I'm hoping that that collet does uh, fix itself in time. Maybe just because it's new, it's just holding on to the bit. But we will see. All right, so let's uh, take Milwaukee's out. Time. And then let's take Hilti's out. All right, I think they're both good enough. We'll we'll uh we'll go to an eight inch uh, lag. Got to whip out my Ryobi links. All right, we're gonna have to redo that because that is a major angle. Time. Hey, I'm impressed that is that it's able to do it. That is very good. That's a very good upgrade on Hilti's part. Very good upgrade. All right, so let's take out Milwaukee's. Time. Sorry. Sorry about that, Hilti. That totally smacked on your face. Yeah, so that's why I don't put tools up here because it, the vibration just ends up dropping it. I'm sorry about that, Hilti. I'm gonna have to reverse this a little bit. That's good. All right, let's take Hilti's out. Time, not too shabby, you guys. I am not gonna lie, this tool is actually majorly impressing me. This is a awesome tool. Now, I do wanna do, I, I just wanted to get this video out there just because I wanted to see what this was like with the competition. This tool is going to be in so many videos uh, because it's new. I want to do. I want to see how this performs with different amp hour batteries, including a comparison against the older model. So yeah, it's, it actually is smaller. I love one thing I'm going to say is I love that Hilti shrunk the base. Look at the the look at the base of the tool. I love that they shrunk the base. It's good. It's a good tool so far. I'm actually very impressed with how this is going. Yeah, but the, like I said, I just don't, I do not know why. There we go. I don't know why I'm having trouble. Maybe I need to put a little bit of uh, grease in there or a little bit of oil. I'm not sure, but, uh, or even WD-40, just a little squirt. But we'll, we'll find that out in the future. And that ring is awesome. All right, so when it comes to doing a uh, speed bore with an impact driver, I think it's extremely dangerous. So if you do use an impact driver on a speed board, make sure you wear safety glasses because unlike a drill, this will completely go everywhere. All right, so we are gonna do two holes. 
and we're going to time them together. I am amazed that uh, the Milwaukee did not release the bit. Time. You know, like I said, it's cold in here, you guys. These, these uh, tools aren't hot at all. It's going to take a lot more work to heat these up. But one thing I do want to do is uh, in the future slap a low amp hour battery on there and do a duration test with like three inch screws. Drive in a couple hundred screws, seeing how long it actually lasts. Because that's one thing that this channel needs to start doing is duration tests. I feel bad for not doing it. All right, so it's Hilti's turn. Time. Not too shabby, you guys. And remember, we are going against the best in the business when it comes to impact drivers. And this thing actually blows my mind. I did not, I did not expect this to perform like this. I did not. So I will admit that the, the neuron batteries are a bit big, you know, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so we already know on how good the Milwaukee fuel is. We did plenty of videos at already. But the main focus of this was on the Hilti. So when it comes to the new Hilti performance, I'm not going to lie, my mind is blown. I was not expecting this big of an upgrade. I knew it was going to be better than the older model, but this is a game changer for Hilti itself. And so I think it's awesome. Both of these impact drivers are actually phenomenal tools. All right, so more videos of this Hilti Neuron impact driver is coming up. And as you guys know, if I get new tools, I do a couple videos pretty much in a row. And when I got the DeWalt power stack, I did like four videos of the, in a row on it, which that power stack battery is awesome. A couple more videos are coming out with this. And I, next, the next video I want to test out is this versus the older model and seeing how well they actually are together. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.